What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Remember that huge She-Hulk announcement about a month ago where Tatiana Maslany was announced via some Hollywood trades and then confirmed all over the internet as She-Hulk? Yeah, well she finally weighed in on that to let us know that she's not She-Hulk. And there's a reason that you didn't see that report here at the channel when we usually report on every rumor and leak, anonymous or Hollywood trade. We didn't report on that one because our sources were very sure she was in it. And it turns out, as she confirmed, she is not officially She-Hulk at all. We're gonna break down exactly what she said about the role, what happened with the initial report. Of course, what is really going on with She-Hulk and actually make some comments about what goes on here at the channel as it seems apropos. We're gonna break it all down. But first, if you could, grab the subscribe button we're giving away two playstation 4 pros as well as a whole slew of other marvel related stuff including this insane one fourth scale xm studios beta ray bill and our third and final infinity saga box set if you want to be entered to win all you have to do hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So nuts and bolts, let's jump into the story first. Tatiana Maslany was confirmed to be She-Hulk via one of the Hollywood trades. I believe it was either Deadline or The Hollywood Reporter. Either way, those are some of the most trusted Hollywood trades. And even though they've been known to get things wrong in the past, their track record of being right, their sources, and how often they're correct, the amount of times versus what they report is super high. That's why we basically here at the channel take the things they say as fact until they're debunked. But of course, because this is a channel and a fan interest, channel at that, we cover everything. Anonymous plot leaks on 4chan that anybody could have posted, all the way to official announcement from Marvel Studios. It's on you guys to decide what you believe is true, what you believe is not true, and I only tried to present the facts as we know them here logically and put them within context for what we already know about Marvel Studios and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you'll notice, I never reported on Tatiana Maslany officially becoming She-Hulk. Rather, we reported that Allison Brie had been cast for the role months before, and we didn't report on that breaking news because my sources as they were were pretty confident that that story was erroneous. Well, in this most recent interview with the Sudbury star, Tatiana Maslany weighed in on She-Hulk and Jennifer Walters herself, and this is what she had to say denying her involvement with the MCU or being cast in the role. Quote, that actually isn't a real thing and it's like a press release that's gotten out of hand. It's totally not. I've been connected to these things in the past and press has gotten onto it but it's not actually a thing, unfortunately. And when pressed further, because obviously she could be downplaying it or denying it until the official announcement, she said, yeah, I don't know how these things get. I don't know, I don't know, you know better, I have no idea. Now for a second, let's play devil's advocate and pretend that she actually is She-Hulk. She could be downplaying it, right? Just not acknowledging it until the official announcement. Maybe something along the lines of what Jonathan Majors did recently with Jimmy Fallon on the late night show, but that's that's not what's going on here. Read the language. She's actually vehemently denying it instead of just dancing around the question. And when originally we reported Allison Brie as being cast in She-Hulk or possibly being eyed for the role, that was one of our strongest sources and stories at the time. That's why we chose not to weigh in on this story. And in the past, when I know something is false or I have a huge inkling it's false, I'm just as quick not to report on it as when I am. You may remember the time that Daredevil was implied to be in Spider-Man 3 by one Kevin Smith when really during that interview, all Kevin Smith was talking about was the rumors that he had seen online via YouTubers like myself and other publications. He was just weighing in on that, and then those same YouTubers and publications took that story as proof, even though it was them who generated it in the first place. Yet yeah, we didn't weigh in on that, and because we had reported on Allison Brie with a good source, we, we didn't report on Tatiana Maslany. Also, those fake Venom pictures that came out, Venom 2 with Carnage, yeah, we did a full debunk on that, even though many other YouTubers and publications were claiming that these were possibly real when it was super easy to take five minutes and source all of the original photos on Google and do the Photoshop ourselves. That's actually what we did in the video. Look, there are a ton of rumors online and my favorite part of Marvel movies, much like you guys, is discussing them. And I've always said from the beginning here at the channel, when you take something like a Hollywood trade, we're gonna hold that in special reverence because their journalism and reporting have resources that we just possibly can't have. But behind them is the industry insiders who are willing to put their names on these reports. It was Mikey Sutton who backed up the Allison Brie casting and didn't budge off that even when this Tatiana Maslany report came out. Of course, things do change at the studio. It's never official 
until they announce it. But when you have industry insiders willing to put their name on stuff, they have to stand by that and their reputation. And let's face it, in the last two years, they've had their feet held to the fire a lot more than in years past because Marvel news has become such a big genre in and of itself. Mikey Sutton nailed this one from the beginning and held true to it, even though Tatiana Maslany was everywhere, including those Hollywood trades. And basically, here's my major point. If I get something from a source that I actually believe in, or if something's being reported as true, but I don't believe in it, I never try to mislead anybody. And I will always continue to present everything here at the channel that I'm interested in, but in an honest way. That means if photos leak out that could be real, but we know they're fake, then we're going to do the debunk, even though that gets way less hits than pretending that they could be real. Or if a report comes out that we know isn't real, we're not going to run that out for clicks. I, like you guys, want to get to the bottom of things and see the absolute truth. I also know that the plot leaks that come out on 4chan, there's no way of knowing if those are real until they come true. But 4chan in and of itself has its own track record. And like I said here at the channel, and the whole point has always been to delve into anything that we find interesting and can discuss as a fanhood, but never try to purpose mislead anybody and so while very often we don't know if things are true or not on the occasion that we happen to know they're not true which is rare but is in the case of these venom photos and or in the case of Tatiana Maslany's reporting when we knew there was a good chance it wasn't true we're not gonna run those stories and I get DMs from you guys all the time asking why a certain story isn't run or why a certain story is that's your big answer right there if we know somehow it's not true we're not going to report on it. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Did you take this for certain? And did you agree with me that you didn't perhaps think this was the best casting for her? I also think Alison Brie would do a much better job. So I'm happy to hear that the casting is still open. And we'll have to wait and see in an official announcement whenever that may come, perhaps at this Disney investors meeting on the 10th, what's going to happen. But I am all ears for you guys. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscribers mark which we are right around the corner form and easily gonna hit before the end of the month all you have to do to be entered to win hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel like this insane one fourth scale xm studios beta ray bill that we'll be giving away at a quarter actually three quarters of a million subscribers at 750,000. This is a one fourth scale. Again, that's almost three feet tall, immaculately sculpted museum quality piece from XM Studios and our third and final Infinity Saga box set. We already gave away two this year here at the channel. We'll be giving this one away during December, during the holiday season, regardless of the subscriber count. So if you want to be entered to win either of the PlayStations, the Beta Ray Bill or this Infinity Saga box set, all the rules will always apply in the same way. And that goes for future prizes. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to keep up with the channel then leave a like and a comment on this video and because it's truly random the more videos you like and comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners will be announced at the end of the videos the same way we're doing here and if you've missed any previous winner announcements no worries all you have to do is go back to the channel look for the winner announcement in the sub count in the title click on that video and scroll to the end my name is michael roman this is everything always guys thanks so much for checking out the channel stick around we'll be posting again real real soon